Hello everyone. Welcome to Huawei Firewall Multimedia Configuration Course. In this course, you will learn how to use blacklists and whitelists to control websites accessible to users. A URL blacklist is a list of URLs inaccessible to users, and a URL whitelist is a list of URLs accessible to users. The blacklist and whitelist function enables you to control websites accessible to users with ease. We all know that URL filtering is mainly based on the blacklist and whitelist, user-defined URL category, and predefined URL category. By default, a URL filtering profile contains all user-defined and predefined URL categories. However, each URL filtering profile has its own blacklist and whitelist configured. That is, the blacklist and whitelist are valid only in this URL filtering profile. Functionally, you can also use user-defined URL categories to implement the blacklist and whitelist function. For example, you can add URLs to a user-defined URL category and set the response action for this category to block. This equals to adding a blacklist. Similarly, you can also set the response action to allow, which equals to adding a whitelist. Therefore, you can view blacklists and whitelists as special user-defined URL categories. It's just that you cannot change the response action of a blacklist or whitelist. However, you can set the response action for a user-defined URL category to allow, alert, or block. Now let's see an example on how to use blacklists and whitelists to control websites accessible to users. Enterprise employees can now access any websites as they want. As a result, certain employees usually access work-unrelated websites during work hours, which adversely affects work efficiency and brings intangible asset losses to the enterprise. The enterprise intends to allow employees to access www.example1.com. Prohibit employees from accessing www.example2.com. The enterprise also intends to strictly control employees' network access permissions to prohibit them from accessing social network, video sharing, and gambling websites. For certain exceptional websites that require independent control, such as the preceding www.example1.com and www.example2.com, create a URL filtering profile and add www.example1.com to the whitelist and www.example2.com to the blacklist. Then use various predefined URL categories and set the URL filtering level to high, so that the firewall can block access to URL categories like adult, illegitimate, social network, and video sharing. Now, let's see this specific configuration method. First, create a URL filtering profile. Choose Object, Security Profiles, URL Filtering. Click Add. Set the name to URL Profile 01. For this area, you can use the default configurations or configure the items as required. Add www.example1.com to the host hotel list, so that employees can access all URLs under this domain name. Add www.example2.com to the host blacklist, so that employees cannot access any URLs under this domain name. Then set the filtering level to high in the URL filtering level area. You can see the newly created profile URL profile 01 in the list. However, you have not finished the configuration yet. Instead, you have to apply the profile in the security policy for the URL filtering function to take effect. Choose Policy, Security Policy, Security Policy. Click Add, Add Security Policy. Set the name to Policy 1. Enter the filtering conditions. For example, set the source security zone to trust, the destination security zone to untrust, the source address to 192.168.0.0, and the mask to 24 bit. You must set the action to permit. Otherwise, you cannot perform URL filtering. 
Select URL Profile 01 in the drop-down list of URL filtering, and click OK. Till now, you have completed the configuration and application of the URL filtering function. At last, click Commit on the upper right corner to activate the configuration. After the preceding configurations are complete, the employees can access www.example1.com, but not www.example2.com, or websites of categories like social network and video sharing. If employees access www.example1.com or www.example2.com, you can choose Monitor, Log, URL Log, and View Corresponding Logs that display the filtering type as Whitelist or Blacklist. If a large number of URL logs exist, you can use Advanced Search to filter them. Click Advanced Search on the upper right corner, set the filtering type to Whitelist or Blacklist, and click Search. We've completed the course. Thank you for staying with us.